You guys have just done a track with uh, Firelight. Sure yep. have. Tell us all about it. Well, we were sitting on a version of that track years ago yeah, with those vocals, time. and um, we've gone backwards and forwards with the melody, and we just couldn't quite get it to be as good as we wanted. We knew the vocal was really good and really strong, so we all just kept working on it for a while, not happy, put it away, work on other tracks and come back to it. And um, We just needed a fresh pair of ears on it or something. Normally whenever we direction. jump into a club, we're like, oh, what unfinished projects can we finish on our own? <laughs> <laughs> so we just slim something. <laughs> there you go. Try, try this one, try that one. Like we sent over that track with those vocals and um, he- Came back with that melody. He came back with the melody and a bit of the breakdown and leads and stuff. And, and then it just took off after that. Yeah, yeah right. The track went through a, quite a few ideas in the mid intro. Yeah, we went mid intro, different kick bases. We went through about three or four different mid intros. They're all actually really strong. We could probably use them in any other clubs with file height, to be honest. Mm. They're really cool. But um, the end product we're really happy with, and yeah. Benny as, as well. Did, did you approach? Go? Did you approach him or? Oh, uh, we'd spoken about. I, I think we just like gone backwards and forwards a few times, like talking in clubs and stuff, or like talking online, saying, "Hey, we should really do something." And then I think we just like, "Hey, yeah. we got this." How do you think? What do you feel about this? And he was like, "Yeah, love that, love that vocal." And then within like half hour, I think, or an hour, he'd like sent back some ideas. And we're like, "Yeah, sweet, this is happening. Let's go for it." Yeah. What do you think of this? Two minutes yeah. later. Oh, oh man, he's so quick. Hey, like he's really, really good on the keyboard. Like he knows his way around melodies really, really well. Yeah, he's really cool. We had him over in the studio at our studio and for a good afternoon there, and was it a day? I think it was a day thing. Yeah. And um, yeah. It's really good to work with someone like that, that fresh and that young, you know. Mm. It's, it's good. What is it with uh, these hard style producers and smashing shit out in an hour? Like, even, I'm just lucky to get someone to reply to it a message within like an hour. <laughs> it's not no, always, no, no, hang on. It's not, not always the case. <laughs> the track actually took about, what was it, over a year? It probably took a year. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. A lot of things like take really long. Where did the track, it never ends on the album with Dave Revan and that's key to the vocals. We had that track finished in April 2016 and released it in April 2019. Wow. No, 18. 18, sorry. So two years later. Two years. Jesus. But we, <laughs> but we were working on it for a year before that because 2016, yeah. So 2015, after we did the closing of the DEFCON show, was when Dave Revan first sung those vocals to us in the green room at Massive, at the Massive After Party because he wrote the vocals from Fanatsky to sing. That was right. the first time we heard those, yeah. those lyrics for It Never Ends. And we're like, this is going to be so good. It was wow. finished by April the, the following year and it took ages to release. Because at, at the time we were with Frontliners label, Keep It Up. Oh, that's right, the transition he, a bit dirty. He um, wasn't that, ke like it. Wasn't that keen <laughs> on the track. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so um, Dave was trying to get it with scan tracks, but they wanted to use one of their typical vocalists and um, we feel pretty strongly about Natsuki's vocals, so we wanted to go with that direction. We, we really believed in the track. Yeah. yeah. And um, so we just hung on to it until we signed with Dirty Works. And then once we signed with Dirty Works, the following year we did the album and put it on there. Yeah. So, and that being one of the biggest tracks on the album. Yeah. <laughs> so what what happens first for you guys? Is it the, the vocals or the music? Well, it's Mostly it's the music. Yeah. Yeah. So quite often what we'll do is we'll try and get like an idea down in a track and then um, we'll have a few maybe references or kind of like ideas where we want it to go um so at least have a chord progression or something there and like something that will be the emotion of the track or whatever it is and then we'll send it out to vocalists and get them to come back with something on it and do you like i'm fascinated by the way music gets made like do you do you tell the vocalist what that or do you just give them the the music and just well, go like make this it. sound awesome mostly they um have their own ideas we give them a reference of what the kind of style of vocals that we want Yep, but on no regret. No regret. Um, we sent him the, this guy fairly not strict, but like a few lines. We wrote the first verse of the it. First verse, like keep living. Um, these like are the no days regret. we remember with the friends we won't forget. Yeah. yeah. So he just took that and put it into extended it into the whole track. Yeah. That is cool. So we set the theme and some words, and he just made what he did around it. Yeah, right. That was, yeah. I think it was the first take. Just saying, yeah, like, yeah, done. Right. <laughs> Send it over, I'll put it straight in, and it worked. Wow. Hello there, and thanks for watching another clip from Unhinged TV. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when we go live or when we upload new content. See you soon.